I'm for truth, no matter who tells it. I'm for justice, no matter who it is for or against. I'm a human being first and foremost. Right. And as such, I'm for whoever and whatever benefits humanity as a whole. The message behind these words of Malcolm X remains true to us today. The message is one that we must acknowledge and hold on to as we gather here today refuting the injustice suffered by Trayvon Martin. For this message is one of activism, virtue, and love. Last night, I re-listened to the graphic 911 tapes that record the last few moments of Trayvon's life. And as I heard Trayvon's piercing screams for help as he was being actively pursued by George Zimmerman, his terror pervaded my spirit. And as I heard the fired shots from the gun that took his life, a sense of desolation overwhelmed me. I asked myself, what kind of society do I live in in which I can walk down, down the street and, be, and not only be hunted down because of my physical appearance, but also because also, but also have my, mur my murderer go unpersecuted, prosecuted. At this time, we must question the morality of our society. We must ask ourselves, what type of country do we live in where a person can be shamelessly murdered and his killer not brought to trial? Trayvon was shot and killed by a man who saw him as an other, as a suspicious and threatening black person and not as a fellow American. In our country, we lack the sense of a common unifying identity. We are not just American. We are black, white, Latino, Arab, Asian. Through embracing our uniqueness, we tend to forget our commonality. Our primary identity lies in our distinctions rather than our uniformity. Because of this, we fail to recognize that we are each brothers and sisters, neighbors with a common bond. Let us not let the death of Trayvon Martin solely be another gruesome event in American history. Let us not let Trayvon's awful death be in vain. Let us take the horrible circumstance in which he died and, as, and instead of seeing it as a pitiful and tragic example of American bigotry, let it be a catalyst for change. We must unify our country, our government, our people under the virtue of justice. We must stand up against the unjust technicality of the Floridian law that prevents George Zimmerman from standing trial. We must come together and in the silence surrounding this case due to its racial context. We must acknowledge the implicit and explicit racism that continues to plague the American conscience. Although we must continue to remain cautious, we must nonetheless maintain a love for humanity and acknowledge the common thread that ties us together as American brothers and sisters. It is our time now. We must accept our civic responsibility and demand that our country maintains the promise it makes in the preamble of our Constitution. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice. We must demand that our country not let Trayvon's legacy diminish into another historical role. We must demand the right for per prosecution of George Zimmerman. President Obama once said, a change is brought about because ordinary people do extraordinary things. This is our time to be extraordinary. Our time is now. Can we all give it up?